Hello everybody and welcome to your 21st SFML platformer tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to uh, continue where we left off from the last tutorial. So we got our animation set up for the most part and hopefully that, was, that will work properly as it should. So um, we got our equalized menu items, we got our set animations and we got, now we got to set up our positions, okay? So if you notice right now all our our positions are the same and it can't work like that right our positions can't be on the same level they have to be on different levels right and uh, we're gonna have to change them um, doing this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create two for loops one nested and we're gonna go through our animation Okay, so we got that set up, and what we gotta do is we gotta check which our axis, uh, what our axis is, because if our axis is um one, meaning that it's horizontal, then we need to make everything start the first item start from the far left and go towards the right. If our axis is equal to two, then we need to start um from the the top position and go towards the bottom of the screen. So what we gotta do is uh, right here we're gonna make a, a vector 2f and call it POS and it's gonna be equal to our position so that is our starting position so we're gonna say that animation IJ and what we got to do we got to stop there and we got to go to our animation class animation.h our header file and we have to get a position so let's say uh, SF vector 2f ampersand get position Okay, and we can copy this. Go to animation.cpp. And all we got to do is just return the position. Okay, so that should be right. Oh, we didn't even create a position for. We should have a position for our animation. Well, we don't even have a position. So let's create a position, or maybe I did, but we we delete. I deleted her for some reason. So now animation dot load content. Yeah, we should have a position. I probably erased it or something by accident but yeah we should have a position so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say dot no the pointer set value with the animation IJ get position and we'll set the position equal to POS okay so the position is going to increment based on whether it's uh, uh, if it's the axis one or axis is two. So out outside the second for loop, we're going to say if axis is equal to one, then we're going to say position dot x plus equals. Now we got to um, add it by a, a a good value. So what we need to do is we need to let's see if we can get a way to get uh, the width of of our text or image. So right now we don't even know if the menu item is a is a menu image or if it's a, it's a menu item, right? So we could include uh, the width and height of both of them, but uh, uh, we we can really see. So what what we're gonna do is I guess I will just say floats um, width is equal to, or we can make this a vector too, but uh, for width and height, but. The width is equal to menu images I uh, get width plus uh, we're going to have to be able to uh, get the text I believe uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just go to animation uh, get text 
and the text is the S of string, I believe. Is it? Yes, it is. Uh, so let's quickly create the get for this. I don't know why it's saying positions undefined. I will have to check on that. Uh, S of string uh, get text. And I know I didn't specify it right up there. So what I got to do is go to animation.h. SF string. So I'm going to go to uh, menu items. No. Uh, animation. Uh, let's say I0. get text dot get rect I believe dot get width so that will give us the total width of the images and the animation together now if the image is null or something like that or it's a non-existent image and that's a problem so what we're probably going to have to do is that we're going to probably have to say that if they don't have an image or whatever, then we, we load in an image that is considered a null image, right? And therefore, um, it won't give us any errors. If we try to get the width, the width will be like one by one. Uh, so what we want, so what we're going to do now just to avoid errors is that we'll do that now quickly. So if you open up paint or anything, paint, Photoshop, it doesn't take, um, it's not that hard to do it and we'll just resize the canvas and we'll set it to one by one and just let me zoom in I probably should have painted it black before but zoom in and just paint it black and just save it as uh, you can save it as null image or, or anything you want So platformer and I'll call it null just null.png okay so I guess that whenever we load whenever we use the menu manager so if we go to load content uh, we'll just say uh, we'll create a new image called null so sf image null and We'll say null is equal to no null dot load from file load from file and we'll call it null dot png. Okay, so in here instead of passing an image, we just pass a null. So um therefore we won't get a an error if anything if we get the width of the height. So we'll we'll say float height equals menu images i dot get height plus animation i zero get text dot get rect dot get height okay so we got the width and we got our height so we'll say that if uh, of if axis equals to one, then we'll say uh, we kind of want to space it in between the two. So I guess we'll just say uh, ten plus width, and then we'll say else because we only have two axes axes. Uh, so we'll say plus equals ten plus height. Okay, and uh, so therefore we'll modify our position and we'll put the position in there. So now we gotta add in a new variable, uh, and I know this is getting messy, but I will clean it up after. So item number, and we're gonna load that item number and load content uh, will be equal to zero. And uh, so we will 
I guess I'll end this tutorial here and then we will um, continue with the update and, and draw commands in, in the next tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and bye.